The nuclear deal with Iran is unlikely this morning, with just hours to go until the deadline. The United States wants Iran to restrict its nuclear activities in exchange for lifting trade sanctions. Secretary of State John Kerry is pushing to extend the talks. Margaret Brennan is traveling with Secretary Kerry. She is in Vienna. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Secretary Kerry and Iran's top diplomat directly negotiate with no advisors or even note takers in the room because hammering out a deal is a top foreign policy goal for President Obama and Iran's Hassan Rouhani. Whether they succeed could tip the Middle East toward a nuclear arms race. As diplomats signaled that the talks would be extended past tonight's deadline, State Department spokeswoman Jen Psaki said an 11th hour breakthrough is still possible. Well, there's an acceptable deal within reach. The question is whether we need more time. And that's what we're going to spend the final hours figuring out. No one wants this to fall apart. Uh, everyone wants to uh, get to a point that both sides can accept. But the Iranians rejected what the U.S. considered a generous offer. If Iran agreed to further curb its nuclear program, the U.S. would gradually suspend sanctions that have pummeled its economy. But Iran said they wanted all sanctions lifted immediately. And so far, they've refused to give up some of the components which could be used to build a weapon. They claim their program is for civilian energy purposes. An extension of the talks would give skeptics of a deal in both countries more time to sabotage it, according to Trita Parsi of the National Iranian American Council. The landscapes in both countries are becoming increasingly aggressive, increasingly unforgiving of this negotiation process. At some point, it either has to succeed or it's going to become victim of domestic politics on both sides. All sides are trying to save this deal here in Vienna. An extension would mean that they'll reconvene mid-December to try to find some common ground. Nora? All right, Margaret, thank you so much.